All right. Hi, Joss. You there? How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Very good. So let's make a quick introduction. You can introduce yourself and then let's start the elevator pitch. Great. Hi, everyone. My name is Joss Schaap. I am a CEO and co-founder at Roomdex, uh, a company that focuses 100% on upselling anything around room upgrades, early arrival and late departure. Recently launched the company last uh, last year. Prior to that, I worked at uh, Stay in Touch, which a company that I founded, PMS. And prior to that, I was 18 years at Micros, uh, working on the Opera products. That'll be me. Cool. All right, I'm going to share your screen, and then you can start. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Enzo and team, for having me on uh, on this Revenue Manager series. I think it's very exciting. I really enjoyed watching the uh, the webinar prior to this uh, pitch from me. Um, uh, just a couple of housekeeping things, uh, just obviously a short session, so I have to kind of run through things. Anybody who has any questions, uh, feel free to sign up on the Roomdex LinkedIn page or go to our website and uh, subscribe to our mailing list. Also, if you want to contact me directly, my email is on the bottom here, yos at roomdex.io and I'll be happy to help you after this, uh, this pitch with any questions you may have. Let me go to the first screen. All right, so what is Roomdex? So Roomdex is focused on intelligent automated digital upsells and upgrades. Um, we founded the company about uh, nine mo 10 months ago uh, with the thinking that uh, a lot of the tools out there today are not 100% automated. Uh, they don't do pricing automated. They don't do the configuration, all those kinds automated. And we thought if we bring out something to the market that makes it easy to implement, has a low risk uh, to try out, uh, it'd be very nice for hotels to use and actually generate some great benefits. So the problem that we see, uh, there's a couple of things that we saw that we can do better. And I think before I go there, I wanted to touch base a little bit on what Scott said in the previous webinar about, you know, be careful with your pricing before you increase it too fast. Don't do that too quick. Uh, you know, you have two things right now in a hotel. There's customer acquisition, uh, very important and very difficult in some regions, def def definitely right now. So you want to be careful with raising prices. And then you have the second opportunity of revenue enhancements, which is allowing you to upsell and upgrade um, a guest that you've already booked. And I kind of the idea there would be that you keep your pricing at a, you know, at a normal level so you can compete with everybody out, out there. But then once you have your guest booked, you have an opportunity to increase the revenue uh, through revenue enhancements, upsell and upgrades. Um, what we saw wrong in the current uh, upsell process is two things. Um, the first one is that selling at the front desk is very hard. Not every front desk agent also is a good salesperson. There's usually a, a line of people behind the person that's being checked in. There's usually not a lot of time to do a proper upsell uh, pitch, so to speak. And then of course, today you have a lot of issues with social distancing. People don't want to be too long in the lobby and stay too long with a person that they don't really know. So that makes upselling hard at the front desk. The other thing is, is that we feel that a lot of the software systems out there that do upsell are you know, somewhat dumb. Might be a little bit aggressive to say it that way, but we, we feel they're not 100% they're not perfectly integrated with the PMS. Uh, they don't do full two-way. There's a lot of manual interaction required for them to work. And above of that, uh, they also require a lot of configuration and ongoing maintenance as it relates to the pricing. Most of the pricing for these applications is, is done manually. So we think we fixed that problem. <clears throat> what have we done? We've created a system that does the automated, the upselling pretty much automated with a very simple setup. So the idea really is, is that we handle the two-way connection to your PMS. So we prepare all of that for you. Once that's in place, we have pretty much all information we need to do an upsell available in our in our system. And all you have to do then is kind of you know, verify that information, add potentially a few pictures if they're not available in the PMS, and ensure that the PMS language that you had that we came across is sellable. Once you've done that, uh, the system Roomdex will automatically generate uh, the best offers. It will automatically generate the prices that, that we think we can offer to your guests for both room upgrades, early arrival and late departure. Once the guest sees those offers, uh, they can very simply click on, on the offer, they can buy an offer, and we send, once the guest buys an offer, all the information back to the PMS, which basically means that nobody has to do anything in Room Next. All the information you need to fulfill the upgrade, to fulfill the early arrival, late departure, is immediately available in the PMS. 
We've seen also great ROIs. We launched only in October last year, so during COVID, uh, which I think is quite interesting, especially since most of our customers have obviously a much lower ADR and a much lower occupancy than they would normally have. But we've seen great ROIs up to 20X, even 40X in the Miami, Florida era, area where business seems to be very normal. I think what's important, we also have an immediate revenue uptick. Our customers that we've so far have, have definitely agreed on that. Here's a few uh, comments on that. The ones that I really like as the bottom on the bottom, effortless revenue driver. What that basically means is we've kind of fulfilled what we set out we want to do. We implement room decks and revenues added to the hotel with only without any effort for the hotel. Um, going a little bit more in detail to how this all works. Uh, the easy part is really the setup. Uh, as I mentioned before, we connect to your PMS, we retrieve all information, and what you can see here on the right side are all the features, and I'm talking a bit more about features because we're also preparing ourselves for attribute-based selling down the road. Uh, we kind of take all the features of every room category that, that is existing in the PMS, we ask you to drag and drop those into what we call feature classes that we use to sell based on personalization, all kinds of other information. Uh, once that's in place, uh, you can drag and drop that in there. If you feel there are some, some features missing, you can very quickly add those. We prefer you to use three to five word features, which are very clear and concise and make it very attractive for somebody to buy a particular room or a room upgrade. So again, you can see that we have all of this set up for features. You add a few pictures. And then the last part, of course, is the branding. You want to make sure that the email is clearly coming from your hotel. You can do this very, very simple logo. Uh, you can do this with some text. The idea really is that we keep the email personalized and simple. So we're not putting a lot of information around the city or the hotel itself in the email. It's really focused on inviting your guests in a personal way to, to a few upgrades that you have potentially only available for him or her. So it's a really personalized approach that we have taken. Um, the intelligent part that we then have is once the configuration is in place, we look at the rates, we look at the rifle, we look at um, the purchase, we look at people in-house, we look at the type of people that are in-house, so we look at the reservation. Uh, we use the reservation to divide people in persona buckets. So for example, a reservation that goes into the weekend probably has to do something with leisure. A reservation that has a connected room probably has somebody on there that's a family. Um, all of those kind of informations are helping us to determine how price sensitive the guest may or may not be and helps us to determine the right price. The second thing that we've also added and we found very um, useful is that any language, we can translate the application in many languages and we use an integration to Google Translate for that, which we have enhanced with our, with our own API to ensure that Google, those few words that it does wrong, especially hotel kind of hotel words or terms is not perfect there. We have added those and made those perfect so we can easily, without any effort from the hotel, translate any offer in pretty much any language. Uh, we've listed a few out here that are live and working for us. Um, and that helped really also with people buying an offer because you know seeing something in your own language makes buying a lot easier. Um, then again, we look at the priority of the guests, we look at the balancing of the house, we look at loyalty and look at forecast. All of that information is then used to determine the price for the offer uh, that we provide to the guest. Here you see uh, a very quick sample screen that we have. This is our uh, automatic pricing uh, rate grid. Uh, so what we really do is we take all the rates real time from the PMS. So even if you had connected a revenue management system and it would update the price for whatever reason throughout the day, we would take that information, we would put in our system, we would create the rate differentials based on the price that you're selling at today. And then we kind of yield with that, which you see on the right hand side. On the bottom, on the left, you see the real rate differentials. And on the right hand side, you see how we would potentially yield again based on occupancy, the right price to the right customer. So what's really key here is the hotel does not have to enter any pricing information other than kind of confirming the range in which it wants us to operate. And that's usually in the first week or two, a few adjustments, but that's pretty much it. So far, we've basically seen that hotels can get live very quickly and don't even have to adjust the yielding range because we're kind of on the mark with, with the pricing that we offer. And I think that's mostly because we're very deeply integrated with the pricing that's in the hotel today. So going through that session very quickly again, how does it work? The email goes out to the guests. 
which you can see here, a personal simple email goes out to the guest. The guest gets then uh, a link. They can click on that link and they will see the opportunities that are available. We usually try to show between three to five offers. On the right, you see a more detailed explanation of the offer. On the left, you see the yeah, kind of the standard offer with, as you can see, under more spoils and under more relaxing, the features that were previously created. And that makes it all very easy and very clear and understandable for, for a guest to buy a particular offer. Um, here are some sample screens in the various languages which I mentioned earlier. The same offer is translated automatically in Spanish, German, Chinese, Russian, French, Dutch. Uh, we can do all of them, uh, you name it, basically. Once the guest has picked an offer, they get, they, it will be added to their shopping cart. As you can see here, the room upgrade has been added. Once that has been done, if available, the guests can then buy an early arrival or late departure. And this is an area where we have seen great success, but also we focused a lot of time on being able to fulfill uh, that particular early arrival, late departure. It's one thing to, to offer early arrival. It's another thing to actually be able to fulfill it. So we have some algorithms in place because we sell these things two or three days in advance that we can ensure that even then, uh, when the guest buys an early arrival, it can always be delivered on. So we've done some tricks with, uh, with, with inventory in other areas to ensure that, that happens. And again, uh, we've seen great success with that. A lot of the upsell that we see are early arrival, late departure, and we haven't had any issues uh, really with being able to fulfill on that. Once the guest buys the offer, they get a nice confirmation page. The confirmation page is also emailed to the guest. And uh, from there onwards, it goes back into the PMS automatically. So the PMS will now have the new room type, the early arrival time or late departure time. It'll have a package or an add-on with the value of those, as well as when the guest checks in, it will show automatically on the guest's invoice or folio uh, to what extent um, the purchase has been made. So again, no work required from the hotel. There is no confirmation required for, from somebody in the hotel to confirm that the offer is accepted. All of that goes automatically. We, of course, have some reporting. We're very much focused on the funnel, the selling funnel. So, you know, the number of reservations that, that can be reached with an offer, the number of reservations that we email, the number of people that then click on that email, and the number of people that accept it. And, on, you know, then you can also see what they buy, and you can see the, the amount of revenue that they've purchased with that. All of that can be exported uh, to a CSS file, so you can then look at that in more detail, and, of course, as I mentioned, we're a young company, so we'll be adding quite a few reporting and KPIs in the in the next couple of months to come. Actually, speaking of KPIs, on the 22nd, I'll be holding a masterclass as part of this revenue series around uh, you know hotel and upsell KPIs that I think or we think can really help uh, you know streamline that process. The results that we've seen so far, I, we're very pleased with them. Again, we're only live for five months and we've all of our live has been you know, during COVID basically. We have uh, two, three hotels that are actually in an area where business is still booming and that's the Florida and Miami area. Those hotels have you know 40 to 60 X actually. Um, so they're doing really, really well at this point in time. Other hotels that have an occupancy around 20, 20 to 30% is pretty much where we have these figures that you see here from. So we've got great average revenue per stay that goes all the way up to $420. That's, of course, in a more expensive hotel in a very nice uh, area along the ocean. But there is definitely lots of growth and lots of opportunity for us there. Uh, the great success we see with early arrival and late departure. I think this is, uh, and I've, I've listed some, some, um, you know, some, some uh, articles about this in the past. This is an area, I think, where hotels can really generate additional pretty much 100% revenue without upsetting the guests. The guests actually like, in general, that they can see and that they can have the room, even if they have to pay for that, they don't mind that. Um, so that's really working well. And there we see an average additional to the room rate of 39 for early arrivals and $45 for late departures. Regularly, we see late departures over $100 being purchased. And that's probably late until you know 5 or 6 p.m. at the end of the day. Our exposure rates, 65%. Uh, our click-through rates are 25%, and our commitments, uh, our commit rates are definitely around 18, sometimes even higher percent. Kind of depends also what area the hotel is, but we're doing very well there, in our opinion. Here are some of our customers. We currently have about 6,000 rooms uh, 
booked. We have about 3,000 rooms live. You can see the hotels are all over the place. We have a bunch in, uh, in the United States, a bunch in Europe, a bunch in the UK. Uh, and uh, yeah, so far so good that from that point of view. What do our customers say? Here are some reviews. Uh, if you want, I can, I'm more than happy to, uh, to provide you with the link to this deck if you just reach out to me after, after this pitch at any time. Uh, but again, it shows that we have delivered on what we think we want to do. Uh, customers are very happy. We, we have very little or no effort in keeping them going. There is little or no effort required from the hotel to keep the system going, which I think is a key uh, component, especially right now when hotels you know, have to deal with low, not only low occupancy, but also low staffing. You know, a lot of people, you know, many people have now many more heads than they used to have. So automation and easy additional revenue, I think is, is a key component that can help hotels really well in moving forward. So why is this a win? Um, I mean, I think we generate high margin revenue. Room revenue is easy, uh, it's fairly easy to deliver on if it's available. We make sure it's available. Uh, the only cost really is the cost of our application. Uh, guests in general are happy. They like being approached in a more personal manner. They don't mind paying a little, little extra if they want, if it's available. Uh, they feel more comfortable with it. And of course, you know, you're know you kind of removing the awkward conversations, of especially early arrival and late checkout uh, at the front of front desk or from a phone call uh, by just providing those digitally. And then last but not least, we offer a free trial up to 60 days. You can try us out. Uh, we handle the connection for you. You can try us out. Uh, and from that, if you like us after two or two months, you can continue to buy us monthly or you can buy sign up for a yearly with a, with a larger discount. And that is pretty much the end of the pitch I have. If you have any questions, happy to answer some of them right now. Yeah, uh, we have a question, guys, just because we are right finishing your slot. So I know, Silvia, you have a question. Yes, uh, hi, Joe. So congratulations for, for the product. First of all, I'm a big fan of upselling. So my question was about the algorithm. How does it work? Uh, do you need any historical data to make it work? Because I understand that you talk to the revenue management system, you're connected to the PMS. So does it work as long as we only future data on the books? Uh, can you just elaborate a bit on that? Yeah. I can, yeah. So um, we, we use data more forward because the purchase of the of the uh, of the hotel room has already done. So we're we're looking in advance. The guest is arriving in a couple of days from now. We know we know from the PMS what are the rates going to be on the day of arrival. That's where we're looking at. We're also looking at the rate the guest paid, uh, and based on that, we determine what's the best price. But uh, once we are connected, we can pretty much go live and generate revenue because we don't have to look at the past. We can only have, we, we can look at what's going forward and what's arriving at the hotel. Thank you. I know it was hard to cut like that. So thank you, Joss. Thank you very much. Now is the time to move to the next session. Uh, stay with us, Joss. You can watch the live streaming on LinkedIn yeah. and YouTube, and uh, we'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you.